Here I'm going to show you how you can convert your presentation into a video file. That includes narration and timings, so if you recorded your voice on each slide and you have it timed to advance after you're done gabbing, like on slide 1 to slide 2 and so on, then with that video file you can email it or put it on the web and allow everyone to see it without you actually having to be there in person. I've got a total of four slides, so let's go ahead and convert it into a video. Come up here, click on the File tab, go backstage down to Export, and then come up here and click on create video and here we go the first option click on it and you can get high def which is your largest file size here or medium size or not so much in any case let's go with full high def 1080p select it don't use recorded timings and narrations well I don't have any but if I did I could click on the drop down arrow and use them or I can start from well right now and record timing and narrations and also preview them and then once I have that set up then I can come back here and go ahead and select use recorded timing and narrations so let me click off and say well I can't use what I don't have so the only option I get is don't use it and then down below well think of it this way if you don't have any recorded timings for each slide you have to set up a timing for your slides because well let's put it this way I've got four slides if I don't set up a timing for each slide then I'll be perpetually stuck on slide one throughout the entire video because it would never advance so I gotta put some timing on each slide and that's why it's asking us right here to set the timing for it and I'm gonna set it to one second now you may think to yourself okay so on a couple of slides I've got a lot of text that they need to read don't forget that they do have the pause button so I would set it to maybe just a few three seconds but well to keep it short I'll set it for one to show you that it does work but maybe three four or five seconds and then remind them that they do have the pause button so when they get to a slide that has a lot of text or they want to analyze it more push pause so with that set up let's create our video click on it opens up the save as window and allows us to save it as an mp4 or the windows media video file format let's do mp4 uh, convert to video you can change the name if you want that's fine I'm going to save it to my desktop and then click save and then down below on the status bar it says creating video convert to video mp4 okay now it's done let's minimize that down to the taskbar and it's over here there we go give it to somebody put it on the web upload it and you can see the length is five seconds double click and here we go plan oh, oh what's going on well remember you got to pause it <laughs> in any case one second is too fast but you get the idea three or four seconds ought to give somebody enough time to come down here and pause it I don't have much to read on this slide so we can continue and then oh, a lot on that but great now I don't have to be there in person I can just send off my video or go ahead and upload it and send a link to everybody that it's on the web thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.